Hey tennis fans, welcome to another Tennis Express Racket Review. Today we're reviewing the Pacific BXT X-Force Lite. The Pacific BXT X-Force Lite is a lightweight, control-oriented racket, and it's the pinnacle of the Pacific Performance line. This frame features the latest in basalt technology, BXT, which is a woven matrix from graphite and basalt, where key areas of the racket are reinforced with greater stiffness. This technology is placed in key areas of the frame like the shoulder to give increased torsional stability to give players more consistent performance on off-center hits. I also just finished up my playtest with the Pacific BXT X-Force Lite. Just like the other guys, I thought this racket was a little on the light side. Uh, I really did like it for what it is. It was really easy to get the spin and power I was looking for out of this racket because it was so easy to swing. Uh, that being said, if I were going to make this my own personal racket, I'd probably add some weight to the head of the racket just so I could give it a little bit more stability and consistency. Um, it was awesome when I was serving and for volleying because it was so easy to move the racket and just get spin off it so I could hit more slice and spin or topspin or whatever I needed to with any of my shots, but occasionally when I was in trouble, I would lose a little bit of control just because I couldn't hit it dead center on the racket when I was in trouble. Uh, other than that, I would really like this racket. If anyone that's a beginner, intermediate player was looking for a good racket, I'd recommend this to them. All right, so next up we have Joe Lee with the Pacific BXT X-Force Lite. What were your initial impressions of this racket? Um, I liked it at first, uh, whenever I first got out swinging, but I did think as time went on it got a little too light for me and I felt like I couldn't get enough power on my shots. Um, I did like it for my spin serves, but I didn't like it too much for my flat serves because of the weight of the racket. I think it would make it a little heavier, um, so somewhere in the middle between the X-Force, um, but not as heavy. It's almost as light as my personal racket, but it's lighter, so I think that I would prefer my own personal racket compared to this, but I feel like if there was someone who didn't like heavier rackets, this would be good. I'd recommend this to someone who can't handle a heavier racket. All right, Jordan, so we just finished our play test of the Pacific BXT X-Force Light number one. I thought this was a pretty light racket, pretty good around the court. What did you think? I really like this racket around the baseline and on the serve. The headlight frame was easy to maneuver on the swings. I didn't have a hard time adjusting to this racket at all. I really liked the feel and the power is in between. You don't get too much power from this racket. You don't get too much feel. It's not, it's not stiff. It's, it's right in between. You get plenty of both. The only thing I would change about this racket is I, I would add a little bit of weight to the head. I think the racket lacked a little bit of momentum through the contact point. On the ground strokes, it was easy to get the racket around to where I wanted it to be. Very forgiving on the timing. This racket is a complete 180 from the X-Force Pro. The weight in the head is, is completely different. If someone told me that they didn't like Pacific Racket, I, I would definitely recommend this one for them to try out. It's a it's a solid racket, very, very control oriented and, and very easy to maneuver around the court. Thanks for watching and don't forget to check out some of our other videos. Also be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter to stay up to date on all the latest news here at Tennis Express.